How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we are going to be trying to finish up our game mechanics here. Uh, I've been recording this just after the last one, so I uh, haven't finished uh, adding in the rest of the code. But before we do our TNT placer, um, just a reminder, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub. Um, so go there if you guys are having a little trouble. Um, also, be, feel free to head over to our Discord. Link is in the description. we got a lot of great people going on in there. Um, actually, I'll pull it up here real quick just to kind of show it off. Um, we got a lot of great things going on in here. Uh, for instance, we have... Uh, this chat's already pretty busy right now. Uh, we have lots and lots of people in here already. Um, pretty awesome stuff. We have a, a channel right here we can actually go to. You can see actually here I just posted some help for uh, this guy here. Uh, but we have some advanced devs and some junior devs here um, who are assisting everyone with their code. Um, so if you're having some troubles, check it out. All right. So what we have to do here, before we're going to do our TNT placer, we're just going to do um, all of these sort of events that we want to cancel um, just because we we want to make sure that um, certain things aren't happening. So we're just going to go ahead and say event handler. And we're just going to say public void on drop player drop item event event. Uh, we just want to go ahead and say if um, plugin dot game manager dot is started equal to true. We want to go ahead and event dot set dot set. I can't type. Cancelled to true. Um, and now we did it like that because if the game's not started, um, really, since this is going to be its own server, you could just completely set this to event dot set cancelled. But as far as testing purposes, um, you're going to want to say if plugin dot game is started. We want to make sure that players can drop things. Um, but if you have already implemented Bungie, uh, you can actually just go ahead and set that true forever and no parameters or anything will change that. And we're just going to grab another event handler here and we are going to say a public void damage entity or we'll actually just say damage event entity damage event and this one's going to be a little bit tricky here or actually hold on entity damage by entity here um, so well, we can actually we just set it equal to zero so we can actually just get uh, rid of this we don't need that I forgot that we did that um, and we can actually just change this to public void we're going to need event handler at event handler and this is going to just be public void food level change and this is going to be food level change event event because we want to make sure that players are not losing health or losing hunger um, and then we got one more here which is going to be event handler public void place block event Block place event. Oh my god, event event. And then we are just going to go ahead and say event dot set. I cannot type this word up dot set canceled to true. Because we want to make sure that they are not placing a dang thing here. Nothing in our house, right? Um and I, I alright. So let me just scroll up here on my code over here. So we are going to do the TNT placer, which um, is some pretty dense code. So I'll try to move slow just so um, we can do this together. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to create a new bucket runnable. You can see I kind of slowed down my voice for you. We're going to create a new bucket runnable, um, which you guys should already know how to do by now. But if not, just type new bucket runnable. We're going to import it. We're going to add unimplemented methods. And then we're just going to worried about the timer when we get there um, so for now we'll just skip past it then we want to say if tagger selected is not equal to three so this this actually gets okay so this is this is really tricky here and I want to explain it to you because 
Um, the reason why it's tricky is because it's going to change depending on how many people you you want to select for your TNT placer. Um, so this, like I said, this just really just depends on how you want to do it. Um, so just be weary of that. So we're just going to go ahead and say player. And this is going to be random player. And we're going to say equal to plugin dot. I can't type today. Plugin dot players in game dot get. All right. So this is going to be really, really kind of confusing right here. We're just going to get a random player. And since it's an array list, we're going to get a random integer. Okay, makes sense. So we're just going to say thread local random dot current dot next int. And we're just going to do the same thing here. We're just going to say plugin dot players. Nope, not that. Players in game dot size. And then we will just end that right there. So lots lots of going on in there don't really think about that too much there don't sort of dwindle on this code here um, it's a lot of code that you honestly don't really need to know the exact details of or why it works and how it works just know that it does work to grab a random um, player um, we're just gonna make this we're gonna give this a delay of 20 and then we're going to give it a period of 20 so it's gonna run it's gonna after it's called it's going to wait one tick or one second or 20 ticks or one second to start um, and then it is going to continue after 20 seconds okay so we want to say if tar tagger selected is not equal to three we want to go ahead and set this and then we want to go ahead and say player manager tagger player manager equal to Plugin dot player manager dot is has oops sorry I skipped over a whole line dot get random player dot get unique ID okay Whew. and a random player dot get unique ID there we go not sure why they did like that. All right, we'll get rid of one of those. Uh, What's that? Parentheses. All right. Then after that, we want to go ahead and say if tagger player manager that is dead does not equal true, and tagger dot is has TNT does not equal true. Okay, then we're going to say All right, then we're going to just say Tagger dot player manager dot set has TNT equal to true, and then we just want to go ahead and say random player dot get inventory dot set helmet, and we're going to set that to a new item stack of material dot TNT. All right, that one's all good there, and we're just going to grab random player again here. I'm just going to copy it because we're going to be using it quite a bit right here. And we're just going to say dot set player list name. And we're going to say check color dot ren. And then we're just going to do this dot get name. Go enter. Paste this dot get inventory dot add item new item stack material dot tnt comma. And then 576 is how many we need to fill up our entire hot bar and then what we need to do is we just need to send this player a message to let them know that they are it you you're it e tag someone before time runs out 
And if you guys don't remember where this method is being called, uh, it is being called, uh, let's see, if we go to our game manager here, uh, I just gotta remember where I put it. Well, we can just go ahead and just do this TNT placer. Find, look at that. So it's uh, being run in the game starts. Once the game starts, um, it's going to just randomly place TNT on people's heads. Um, you could go ahead and just make that right. In, you could put all that code right inside of here because the game start is only run once the game starts. Um, you know, doesn't particularly matter. Um, and then also in our explosion countdown, um, which happens every time after the explosion goes off. Uh, and then on our else statement here, we just want to say this dot cancel and then taggers selected equal to zero. Okay. So that is all I got for you guys in this video. Um, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to test this out a little bit here. So we got player scoreboard here. Where's our error at? I did not get a score. Why is this one deprecated? Oh, players needed. Got it. All right, so let's go ahead and export this. We want to export it here to TNT tag. So we're just going to go ahead and see if this actually works right about now. So let's just go to our server here. Let's go to desktop, tutorial. We'll run the server. And we'll wait for this to boot up. So everything should run pretty good. We have no errors right now. Um, but I guess we'll see once we join. Isn't that right? Isn't that the best? Uh, well, we actually don't have a config here. Um, so that's uh, or a plugin.yml. Um, so that is helpful. So let's go ahead and just copy this one from here, from our tutorial here. Um, and let's just change this to TNT tag. Uh, and this is going to be com.tsc coding.tnt tag dot main class and this is just going to be tnt tag uh, we have no commands yet but our one command will be uh, what will our command be uh, we'll actually just say tnt tag will be our will be our command for now um, we'll just cancel that and then we are also going to need a new file here, which is going to be config.yml. And we don't have to put anything inside of there yet. And this is super annoying. Okay. Now we will re export this. We will reload. And you can see there TNT tag uh, enabling. So let's go ahead and uh, join our server here. And let's see what happens here. So you can see they're one of two players needed. Um, but our lobby score didn't go yet. So well, our lobby score did not show up. So let me go ahead and check out our lobby scoreboard. Score lobby. Um, so we actually might just have to go into our game mechanics here. Player join event. Yeah, so we, we didn't set their scoreboard here, so we can actually just go ahead and say player scoreboard dot lobby score, and it's going to be player. Let's uh, export out all of this, and let's rejoin the server. And you can see there, there's our scoreboard. We have everything that is in order. Um, I don't have my second account load it up right now um, but if you guys just take my word on it right now that everything is working so far because um, it is the oh, it is the exact code from my working version so everything should also work the same but as you can see oh, that's a weird oh because I didn't, don't have world guard on anymore so all these trees are decaying um, yeah so there is everything and yeah thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe and tune back in next time where I'm hoping that we can finish this up, even if it's like a 30 minute episode, I really just want to get this done, um, just because it is being a pain in the butt, and I just want to move on to some new and better stuff. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.